So my name is Zefania Lukamba. I'm 29 years old and I'm an artist from Nairobi, Kenya. I specialize in painting and I've been painting for a couple of years, so far professionally six years. And this is where I get my daily bread from. Yeah. So I started painting professionally in 2016. But I've been doing art since I was a kid. I used to be the guy imitating the Super Strikers comics. So that's where I started to get the inspiration for art. Then I did um, high school art from, from one to four. Then I came to university, pursued art as well. So I've been pursuing it for a very huge part of my life. In 2016, we were looking for materials to do my classwork with. So I had to do some painting for graphic design. I had to buy some paints for the paint for the serious works of class. So I had a painting I had done like 2015. Then a friend of mine was interested in it. So I was like, I'll sell this to you so I can buy and supply. So it just started as a way of getting material from them to continue to produce more paintings. Then the material were enough. So I said, like, let me get art so I can do something else. Let's like, say buy food, uh, buy other things, buy clothing. So after that, that's when it just started to go as a way of getting money out of it. It's a, it's a growing industry. It has been growing for a while. And it's a good industry because as long as you keep on pursuing what you want to do, you keep at it, you don't start and then quit and say it's bad. You keep, you don't say you take a year and then you'll be a big name because it starts by trying to build your name because people will buy what they can associate also with and also they see that you are serious with this craft. So it's a, it's a good industry for now, yeah. For now I'm using Instagram, Facebook and also galleries. Galleries really help. So when you submit your artwork, they accept. Um, you actually get to, to connect more with other clients, mostly international through galleries. And also um, Instagram helps a lot. You can actually, <laughs> you can make a lot of connections through Instagram. Yeah. Uh, the first challenge I'll say is finding your own style and also your own theme because I was struggling trying to see what can I give to the world, what can I document as Zephania Lukamba, what can I, what can I be of value to this world that we are living in. The next was acquisition of material because you want to use quality, quality canvas, you want to use quality material so that you, also your prices are affordable and people will value them. So just acquiring those quality materials is what was hard in terms of, let's say, a tube of paint was selling for, the cheap ones were selling like 500 bob, and the expensive ones were like 2,000 for one tube, and you need like five tubes. So that was a huge challenge. Uh, the quote I had that whatever brings out the best in you, keep doing it. So it doesn't matter how much time you take practicing, some, someday, someday you'll get noticed. So it just takes time, so you, you don't have to give up. Patience. <laughs> yeah, patience pays. <laughs> In the next five years, I'd like to have, share what I've learned over the years, ways of doing, approaching artworks, painting them, from going at night and taking photos to actually now creating the artworks share that what I've learned upcoming artists. Have an international also client. We have the local clients and also international base. So try and push our, our own culture, our matatu culture in terms of painting in a wider perspective than what we're used to. Because I've been I've been able to sell internationally the overloaded cars. 
because they can relate to them, but they don't still relate to Matatu until maybe you come to Kenya, see them, you experience. You then when you see the painting, you're like, ah, I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. So trying to see a way of pushing those that theme to the outside world.